to the vandalism at the Center for Islamic Life at Rutgers University. Our Fox 5's Teresa Perillo live in New Brunswick with more on what happened and the reaction from those on campus. Teresa. Yes, yeah, students on campus, Steve and Natasha, are shocked by what happened here because they say the beauty of Rutgers is in its diversity. But that unity tested overnight when the Islamic Center was vandalized on one of the most sacred days of the year. Someone came through, broke in, we had a flag inside. and trashed the place. On one of the holiest days in the Muslim religion, a day meant to be joyous and full of blessings, comes this, a vandalism and break-in at Rutgers Islamic Center. And then our prayer rooms as well. It's Eid day, so we still say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. God is still greater, God is still greater, God is still greater. Despite the broken glass, the smashed items, and stolen Palestinian flag, morning prayers were held, a show of defiance against hate. Cut the TV, a lot of the artwork on the walls, the kitchen as well. Word of the break-in is slowly making its way around campus. It happened around 4.30 a.m. in the back of the building. No one was injured, and it's unclear if anybody saw it happen. That's not a good look for our campus. And uh, people shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. It's literally Eid. Like, it's just, it feels very targeted and hateful, yeah. I can't imagine who, well, I can't imagine who would do that, <laughs> but it's a terrible thing to do. Rutgers has over 50,000 kids on campus here in New Brunswick. Approximately 5,000 of them are Muslim. It's home to students from every state, ethnic, and religious affiliation. Would you consider this an inclusive place? Yes, it really is. There's like, you know, all different types of people here. And I feel like there's organizations that support everyone. But when stuff like that happens, it's just not okay. Now, Governor Murphy released a statement in the wake of this attack, calling this a criminal investigation. He said the state is working with Rutgers law enforcement to ensure that students here on campus are state. He also ended his statement by saying Islamophobia has no place in New Jersey. That's the latest from Rutgers tonight. Stephen Natasha, back to both of you. All right. Thanks, Tracy.